Hello everyone and welcome to Lucius 2. If you're not familiar with the original Lucius game, it is about a kid, he is the son of Satan and his job is to kill everybody in his house while making it look like an accident so nobody suspects him. I thought it was really fun, it is a puzzle game mixed with some really gory murder. And this is the second game, Lucius 2 The Prophecy. Basically what happens is after you get uh, taken out of the house where everybody is dead, you get brought to an insane asylum or something along those lines. I'm not completely sure on the story here, but we're going to play it. Also, I just want to point out that there may be some bugs and things because this isn't apparently the final version. The final version comes out on Friday, so the devs still have a few uh, bug fixes to do. So just keep that in mind if you see anything that's completely terrible, okay? So let's go ahead and play the game. Okay, everyone, you may be wondering what the hell is going on in this room. Because there's a dead body right there, very mangled. There's a dead guy over here. Basically, there's a short introduction that tells you that Lucius came to the hospital. This is St. Benedict's um, Hospital. He's here for psychiatric evaluation. Somehow, he stayed here for six months, and then he tried to kill someone. And when he tried to kill someone, they tried to shock him, and they got their asses handed to them by the devil's son, because that's what happens when you try and shock the devil's son. So I'm supposed to be trying to get out of here. I'm in this room. The hospital door is locked. Come on, get the get the hell open. I, got, I don't know what to do. I was looking around. There's a thing here on the floor. An instrument used for giving electric shocks. Two are needed for current to run through. So I need to do something with that. I can turn it on, but nothing's going to get shocked. That guy's face is getting all messed up, but that's about it. Okay. Oh, maybe I still got to put it on his body. I'm just going to put it... Oh, God. I do. What is that going to... Oh! Oh, he dropped the keys. He must have been in, like, rigor mortis or something. That's why I couldn't... Can I, can I just put that down? He mustn't... Uh, he mustn't be able to let go of the keys, because I tried to take them from his hand, and it didn't work. Now... We gotta unlock the door, right? Wow, it's like magic! A devil bobblehead! Oh! Bobblehead bonus! Oh, there's people in these rooms. Look at that. Look, there's a dude in here. Hey, buddy! Apparently, there are over a hundred people you can kill in this game, guys. In the first game, there was like ten people you could kill. This game has like a hundred. And that is exciting to me. Because I just love killing people when I don't really need to. Because there's certain people you have to kill for the story, and then there's other people you can just do whatever the hell you want with. Oh, God. Not the crucifix. Hello. I'm going in the employees only room. Boom! I think I got a skill. Check that out. I think I'm going to get this one. Telekinetically control an object for a period of time. Now you can walk over here. You see this freaking crucifix? What, what was that? S detection? Oh. Oh, is there someone right there? Okay, I don't want that guy to see me. I'm going to flip this over, okay? If you don't mind. Object too far. I'm going to get to it. Okay, apparently not. Apparently I can't get to the damn thing. Forget it. Just gonna go in here. Oh crap. There's a guy in here. And there's a ceiling fan. If I could make the ceiling fan fall down, that'll probably kill him. Okay. I'm just gonna walk in this room and see what this is. What is this? Oh, a defibrillator. That could come in handy. Oh, oh, what's this? Electric shock rod. Let's put that over there. Okay. Turn that on. Oh, he's gonna come and he's gonna drink and he's gonna kill himself. That that's gonna happen, right? Just hang on a second. Wait for it. I don't know what the question mark is for. Did he see me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Get away from me. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, I am not the devil's son and I'm not in here. Go away. I don't know how the hell that worked, but it did. Look, buddy, just drink your electrocuted water, okay? There you go. Murder. The first murder is done. As easy as that. I wanted to kill him with a ceiling fan, but I didn't know how, okay? Maybe you can't do it. Nobody suspects a thing. Just throw this guy over here next to the water jugs. And I am going to grab these keys. I can break the radio. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We got some pliers. We're going to take the pliers. We're going to break the radio. Just because. Fuck radios, right? Okay, maybe I should have, like, broken that thing instead. I feel like breaking the, uh, the radio didn't do a whole lot. Is anyone going to come fix this radio? Because if you do, you're probably going to die. Okay, why is there nobody in this hospital? Like, I would ex ex expect people to be in here somewhere, just hanging out, but no. I'm walking around here, and there's not a soul. But that's fine with me, because if there's people around, they'll probably try and stop me from, you know, killing people. Bent the Ball. Bent the Ball is a name given by PewDiePie to the red and white ball found in the game Lucius 1. Where the hell's my reference, devs? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. I had, like, a thousand subs when I played that game. And nobody cared about me. They still don't care about me. Oh, okay, here's the door switches. Jesus, let me turn all those on. That'll make things a lot easier. Okay, I got another pair of pliers. I'm not going to waste them breaking a radio this time. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't want to make things hit you in the head. Jeez. Wooden stick. Oh, give me that. Oh, I gotta break it with the pliers. Okay. Okay, we're getting ourselves a wooden stick, guys. You know how you know that's good stuff. Everyone everyone needs a wooden stick once and once or twice in their life. There we go. Oh, hello? Oh shit. There's a guy over here. He's running around. Oh, it's a crazy guy. It is a crazy guy. Can I hit him with a stick? I'm gonna hit him with a stick. Come here. Come here, you. James Wilson. James Wilson, you think you could stop for a second? Let me this Nope. Okay. Come here. You come with me. Okay. I got something I got to show you when you're done dancing. It's a nice dance. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the tray to you here. Hang on. Hang on. We're coming. We're coming. Portable defibrillator is coming for you, buddy. Okay. Here we go. Going to bring it over here. Just like that. I think, I think I may have lost the other part of it. And, um, well, that's not helping. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe just, maybe I'll, um, just leave you guys alone for a bit. I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. I'm supposed to talk to the man. I don't know who the man is, but I'm gonna find him, okay? Oh, look, I got. Oh, shit. I'm taking you to the authorities. You're gonna take me to the authorities? Do you wanna see me take you to. Oh, shit, I'm busted. Press E to use the lifeline. I would like to phone a friend, please. Thank you very much, Dad. Oh, I stunned him. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, do you like my face? Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, guys. Just bear with me. I'm going to take a can of food here. Okay. I'm going to throw it up here into this thing. I'm going to break it in slow motion. You know, normally in real life, if someone sees a wallet, it means that they ignore all obvious hazards in the area and run for the wallet. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to toss that wallet right down here. Okay. Whoa, look, dude, some money. You better go get that. You better not, um... Oh, okay. Obviously, I screwed up. Obviously, I was supposed to hit the thing first. Yeah, that, that would have been nice. Being the smart guy that I am, I decided to uh, reload my save. And now, I'm going to go back and do it right. I'm not really much of a smoker myself, so I'm going to throw these cigarettes to him instead. He's suspicious. He's suspicious, guys. Get, hit the thing. No, I missed it. Hit shit. No, move, move, sir, sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, can you come back? I need to throw this can of soup at you. Just throw it at you anyway. Ugh. They didn't work, didn't work, he hurt me. Ow, he hit me in the face. Somebody call the authorities. Lifeline, bitch. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away and try that again, okay? Grab the, grab the can, throw it, throw it. Ugh. It broke, it broke, here we go. And you son of a bitch. I'm going to kill you so hard, okay? Third time is the charm, right guys? Third time is the charm. We're just gonna toss it right here. We're gonna immediately open our inventory and grab a can. We get ready to throw it. Throw the can, break it, land on the guy's head and kill him, please. Yes, okay, we did it. Jesus Christ, was it really that hard? Murder, thank you very much. Now I can have that, uh, that key over here. And I can go unlock a door, okay? Thank you for your service to me. And I'm gonna take that money back, you don't need it. Okay, now I can unlock this door. Whoa, why is there had to be a dead person in here? Okay, so that was one of my followers, apparently, and he said he chose the wrong god. He left a note. The poor bastard. All right, well, you can just bounce around in here. I gotta go find that man that, uh, that everyone's talking about. Oh, okay, the man is over here. Hey, buddy, what's up? I'm gonna come in here, and I don't have a key. <sighs> okay, I need another guard's key. I don't know where I'm gonna get another one. I need key number 48. Oh, there's people in here. That's right. Yeah, there is people in here. And she told me that I was the problem. <sighs> Women. Can't live with them. Can't kill them. <laughs> I sure can. Hey, dude, 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 dude. What, what are you doing peeing on that plant? And how are you doing that <laughs> with your hands inside your clothes? That was pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. James Wilson, you the man, and a little bit crazy. Okay, so we're just gonna throw, boom. That's gonna break open. And then we're gonna throw another thing in here. Jesus Christ, someone said Jesus Christ. Oh, I knocked stuff down. Oh Jesus, what the hell? How did everything just blow up? That is not how I expected things to happen. Okay, all right, well, I'll take what I can get here. Just gonna get the keys. Those are the ones. Those are the ones I need for the man. All right. Oh, oh, it said break the shelf, they will burn. I didn't see that being said. Huh. All right, buddy, I'm coming in here, okay? 
I'm here to listen to you talk crazy talk. Attaboy. Mr. Ludlow, tell me all your secrets. Okay, there's a lot. All work and no play. All work and no play. Who is the dull boy? I am the dull boy. What do you want, buddy? Can, uh... Devil boy. That's it. Okay, that's it. Apparently, apparently, I don't really have to do anything. I was supposed to talk to the man, but apparently I just wanted to go visit him and see how he was doing. And he's doing good, okay? He's, he's doing good. Besides for the fact that he's completely crazy. Okay, guys. Now I can actually control people. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to click on Mr. James Wilson here. Press 2. And now I'm inside his mind. I don't think that did anything. Mind control. Okay. What did I do? Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Look, I am the janitor. Holy crap. What am I going to do? I'm going to take a shower, of course, next time. Excuse me. Running away. Don't want you to hurt me. Okay, here's my plan. I'm going to attach that right there. To make everything all electrocuty. I got a little bit of a little bit of mana right now. I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna make that guy run into the bathroom and get in the shower. Okay? The electric shower. So as soon as he tries to come get me, I'm going to uh, mind control him. What the hell just happened? Oh, that guy died. How the hell did he die? Where is he? Oh sweet Jesus. I accidentally killed him. Oh. Oh. I think he tried to wash his hands. Well, sorry about that, buddy. These keys are mine now. No need to throw you into any uh, any showers. I'm just gonna flush that toilet for a good luck or whatever. And now, I can go in here. Ta-da! Oh, okay, this was the nun that Lucius tried to kill when he came here. He waited six months and then a nun came in and he tried to kill her and that's why he got sent to the, uh, the shocky place, okay? Okay, well, um, apparently that is the people that I need to kill on this floor. There's no one really left except some random dudes. I'm not really sure if we can kill them. They're just kind of running through doors and having a great time with it. So, um, they can just keep doing that, I guess. Me? Well, I'm going to the elevator. Level complete! Chapter 1, level 1. I didn't really get to kill a whole lot of people. To be honest, it would have been nice if I got to kill some more. But that's, that's how it is. Apparently I didn't use any lifelines because I loaded the game pretty smart all right so now we are on the second floor guys apparently there's a bunch of followers up here that totally love lucius and also he's trying to find an information about some place called ludlow and uh he's gonna go to the library because that's what the son of satan would do he'd go to the library and he'd read some newspapers, okay? So I'm going to end this video here, guys. Let me know if you'd like to see some more Lucius 2. I had a lot of fun playing through Lucius 1. So uh, it'd be really awesome if you guys wanted to see some more of this. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.